Your success will be determined by your own confidence and fortitude. Hi guys, this is Sujata and you're watching Grammar in English Grammar for ESL students. Today in this class, we are going to discuss in detail about verb tenses. We are going to discuss three basic tenses. These are present tense and present continuous tense and future tense. I am going to explain these three tenses using pictures. Let's get into the lesson. English has 16 verb tense and aspect combinations. Tense indicates time while aspect indicates habit, regular repetition, duration and completion within a particular time. Only 10 of them are used frequently enough to require intensive instruction though. Time is an important and first thing to explain when describing the English tenses. In all human languages, time is divided into three areas that can be represented on a timeline. First, now, the current moment. Next, past, time before the current moment. Future, time after the current moment. Time before the current moment is called past tense and time after the current moment is called future tense. Present progressive is the easiest, most intuitively accessible tense to teach and is a good place to start on a tour of the tenses. Present progressive indicates action that is taking place at the moment of speaking. Now not in the past and not in the future. Present progressive tense represents an action taking place now, not in the past and not in the future. Action happening now is used to express with a tense called present progressive tense. Look at the example here. He is walking. Now he is walking means Right now, he is walking as we speak. Next example, he is running means right now, he is running as we speak. He is running at the moment of speaking. Look at the verb form of present progressive tense, be plus verb plus ing. That is, be verb is is, verb is walk and ing. These form indicates that the tense we are using in this sentence is in present progressive. Next, be plus verb plus ing. Be verb is is, verb is run and we have used ing form to indicate that this sentence is in present continuous tense. It means he is running at the time of speaking. Next, we are moving on to present simple. Present simple refers to actions that are generally true or habitual. True or habitual. That is, they took place in the past, continue to take place in the present and will take place in the future. They took place in the past, continue to take place in the present and will take place in the future. So, to express a true action or habitual action, we have to use present simple tense. The action does not necessarily take place at the actual moment of speaking, but can be at any point on the timeline that surrounds the present time. Example, he walks to school, means it is generally the case that he walks to school. He walked to school in the past and he will walk to school in the future. It's a true statement. Usually he goes to school by walk. Similarly, he runs every day. Running is his habit. Every day he runs means he habitually runs every day. It is his habit. He ran in the past. 
he runs now and he will run in the future to express a true statement or a habitual action you have to use simple present tense he might very well be riding a bike at the present moment but habitually he runs every day even the time you are talking now he might be riding a bike but his habit is he runs every day so to express an everyday action you have to use simple present tense the form of simple present is just the bare infinitive without to marked for person and number that is singular or plural i walk singular you walk you can either be singular or plural he walks look at the change in the verb for third person singular you have added and yes with the verb she walks next we are moving on to future tense simple future he will walk to home he will walk to home means some point in the future he will walk home the form of the future simple is will plus verb that is will plus walk he will walk home so far in this class we have discussed in detail about three basic tenses hope you enjoyed this video if you find this video informative please like share and subscribe thank you